Welcome back, my dear televiewers. Let's talk about respiration. The Krebs cycle occurs in the mitochondrial matrix and generates a pool of chemical energy, ATP, NADH, and FADH2, from the oxidation of pyruvate, the end product of glycolysis. Pyruvate is transported into the mitochondria and losses carbon dioxide to form acetyl-CoA, CoA, a two-carbon molecule when acetyl-CoA is oxidized to carbon dioxide in the Krebs cycle, chemical energy is released and captured in the form of NADH, FADH2, and ATP. Now, these are the process of Krebs cycle. First, the two-carbon molecule enters the cycle and joins a four-carbon molecule. Second, in a series of steps, hydrogen and high-energy electrons are removed from the two-carbon molecule. Third, 3NAD plus are converted to 3NADH and 3-hydrogen ion. Fourth, 1FAD is converted into 1FADH2. Fifth, 1ATP is formed. Sixth, 2 carbon dioxide are released. And lastly, 3NAD plus are converted to 3NADH and 3-hydrogen ion. Let's talk about the electron transport chain. The electron transport chain allows the release of the large amount of chemical energy stored in reduced NAD plus or the NADH and reduced FAD, FADH2. The energy release is captured in the form of ATP, 3 ATP per NADH and 2 ATP per FADH2. The powerhouse of the cell. The mitochondrion is considered as the powerhouse of the cell. It plays an important role in the breakdown of food molecules to release the stored energy in the form of ATP or the adenosine triphosphate. The process of glycolysis. Glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. The material needed in this process is glucose or sugar that is broken down into molecules of pyruvate and chemical energy or the ATP. Now let's compare photosynthesis and respiration. Uh, the basis comparison. First, cell structure involved. In photosynthesis, the cell uh, involved is the chloroplast, whereas in respiration, it's the mitochondrion. Second, let's compare them based on the starting materials or the raw materials. For photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water. On the other hand, for respiration, sugar and oxygen. Let's talk about the end product. For photosynthesis, it's, it is the sugar and oxygen. On respiration, it is the carbon dioxide and water. Now, let's talk about the energy requirement. For photosynthesis, it is the sunlight or the light energy itself. Whereas, on the respiration, it is the ATP. Now, let's summarize our uh, topic for today. Through the process of photosynthesis, plants and other chlorophyll-bearing organisms pro produce food or for themselves. In photosynthesis, plants capture light energy and convert it into chemical energy stored in food. The summary of equation for photosynthesis is as follows. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast found in the leaves of the plants. Essentially, the two major stages in photosynthesis are the light reaction phase and the Calvin cycle. Cellular respiration occurs in the mitochondria of the cells and organisms release stored energy in food through the process of respiration. Respiration breaks down glucose into carbon dioxide, water, and energy or the ATP in the presence of oxygen. The summary of equation is as follows. The breakdown of glucose involves three major steps, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and transport, uh, electron transport chain. You did a great job. We hope that you had a meaningful and fun learning with us. This has been Randolph and Cruz of Padre Gregorio Crisostomo Integrated School. Till our next episode of Depet R. Teleturuan. Good day and God bless.